someone may be feeling a little self-conscious about their appearance. Um, maybe they don't feel like they're good enough to be with someone. Um, I'm getting someone that, um, you know, maybe in the friend zone, you know, with the all buddy thing. Oh, someone may be disappointed that they're only someone's friend or buddy. Maybe they wish they could be more. Um, someone could be in communication with someone a lot. Um, with the roommate says, oh, that must be the girl you're always FaceTiming with. Um, someone could also be talking to someone maybe they necessarily shouldn't be, but they're friends. Um... Yeah, I'm getting like a case of mistaken identity, but not necessarily mistaken identity, but it like, um, someone may be questioning, um, their relationship or being in a relationship. So someone may be wondering about being in a relationship with someone that they're in communication a lot with, that they're talking to frequently. Uh, I, I feel like someone's really down on their looks though. And I feel like someone's kind of in the friend zone and someone like, I don't know, someone may just not feel good about how they look, you know? We have the rabbit in the reverse and drilling a hole, so um, someone may have a, <clears throat> a, a colorful past with the rabbit drilling a hole. Someone may have liked to do a lot of mating, we'll say, okay? So someone may be known as kind of like a player kind of energy, like a ho, like, you know, like, I don't want to say that you were or that, you know, someone that you may want to be with was, I'm just saying maybe, you know, maybe they're experienced. Okay. Let's just, let's just go with that. Maybe someone's a bit more experienced. So someone may be worried about, um, you know, if they're experienced enough to be with someone, someone's feeling like a pig saying a prayer there's something significant about communication, writing. Um, someone may be uh, trying to stop something before it starts, like with writing. Um, with robots, someone may be coming across as unemotional, but they're hiding their true feelings. Okay? So someone may feel like a pig for what they're doing. So there may be something, you know, like kind of tabooish about this relationship or situation. Somebody wishes they could go back and erase something, change something that they did. They were playing, you know, it's like they were playing with, you know, playing with marbles is that last word. It's like they were playing with fire or something. Somebody wishes they could undo something and they can't. Maybe somebody slipped up and like revealed their feelings and someone was like, oh, thanks, buddy. Someone's very guarded, okay? So someone's very guarded in their communication because maybe they're afraid of being looked at like a pig. Okay, someone someone's afraid that the person that they may want to express something to may view them differently if they do. But there's something that's a bell, okay? Someone could be getting be afraid of getting like their bell rung or like something kind of backfiring. Someone didn't forget something. Um, elephant, someone could have been stubborn. Or, um, you know, they have, you know, they weren't remembering something. They may have forgotten something. <clears throat> Blowing out candles, making a wish. Someone's birthday could be coming up or someone's birthday could be significant. Uh, yeah. Oh, squeeze is the second word. Someone may be wanting to give someone, um a squeeze for their birthday, but maybe more than that, uh, you know what I mean? There's some sort of communication that someone's nervous about making regarding a, a phone, or maybe there's some sort of communication on a phone, and someone's nervous about this, they're afraid it's going to snap back and hit them, like hurt them, with rubber band here. Someone's really afraid of something, okay, so, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, it's possible that someone could be in a relationship and they're afraid of getting caught communicating inappropriately with someone that would be, like, considered their buddy or something like that. Um, it can also be someone who's, like, friend zone and they want to be more with somebody and they're nervous about expressing their feelings. Either way, I feel like someone's being very robotical or unemotional, but there's a lot boiling under the surface here, like, a lot, a lot. There's a lot of emotions going on. Hold on, I'm going to scoot these up a little bit. Give myself some more room. <clears throat> 
you know, it's, it's almost just like the energy of someone just doesn't feel good enough. Like, they can't compete, like, for someone's attention or affections. They feel like they're going to be, like, looking like a fool or they're going to be left looking like a fool. Um, someone could be afraid of literally getting their bell rung. So somebody, like, could be afraid of, um, you know, if someone expresses their feelings, someone could be afraid that, you know, um, someone else, like, if they have a significant other, like, they might come and, like, you know, whack them upside their head or something. You never know in these readings. You never know which way this is going to go. Anything? All right, we're gonna move on. Let's see. All right, so there was definitely some sort of communication with someone who, you know, um, so there was some sort of dark communication, okay, with the star in the reverse. So there was some, you know, dark things, um, possibly like fantasy, something like that. Um, but there was some sort of dark communication. I said something could be considered like taboo or something like that. So there could have been some communication that wouldn't look good on someone or either party if there's two people involved here, which it looks like there is. We can find out about this. I'm not getting any. There we go. So there's something significant about a love offer here with the Ace of Cups. Possibly a relationship. Someone could be in good health. You know, um, something healthy about this person. They have self-love. Somebody may want to offer them this cup of love. Um, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, and we have someone here who may, you know, may not be doing that well financially. So someone may be worried about finances or approaching somebody who's low on finances. Uh, so there was a tower regarding some sort of communication. Somebody wants to give someone a wand or a gift, okay? So someone wants to come towards someone. Um, you know, this can be seen as like the male phallic. So, you know, if there's some, you know fantasizing going on here we have a king of swords here in the reverse someone who's kind of unemotional coming across as cold-hearted possibly not the most honest person okay so they could have lied about something they were thinking about money someone was worried about money and working so working for money or something like that um Ooh, oh geez don't tell me that okay so there's there's a king of swords here there's someone who's thinking about money there's someone who's working and then there's some dark communication someone could have been propositioned for fantasy or favors for money okay um so someone may know that another person may need money so Man, I don't want to say that someone's going to come treating you like a prostitute or like, you know, but that's kind of like, you know, it's like um, a pay for play. Like somebody wants to offer some sort of finances for some sexuality or they may have come across that way, but they may be hiding some feelings other than that. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, the person that falls in love with like the stripper or like pretty woman, like the hooker kind of thing. It's like, you know, there may be something deeper to this, especially with the Ace of Cups here. So something may initially have started out like that, like someone had intended like something to just be fun, lighthearted, like no emotions, no strings attached. Like, I'll give you this, you give me that kind of thing, which I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying that maybe that's what the intention could have been here. And so someone could be thinking about coming towards someone with like a solid love offer because someone may be like all up in their feelings about this and they may be afraid, afraid of being like friend zoned or something. Maybe they don't feel like they're going to measure up or that they can like fulfill this person's needs or desires. <sighs> I, I told you, man. <clears throat> so somebody could have been planning on traveling to do this or somebody could have traveled to do this. Okay, so there could have been some sort of communication about traveling, um, you know, taking a trip, um, you know, maybe going on vacation together or something, like, for the weekend, you know, like, like, hey, let's go leave town for the weekend where no one knows us, like, so somebody could be in a situation, you know, um, where they were trying to 
get away from someone that they may be connected to. Like, you know, like, no one, I'm getting the energy that, um, they may not want people to know about this situation because it was, it seems like it's like a pay for play kind of thing. So, uh, it could be that somebody was traveling to do this or somebody was wanting to take like a vacation or something with someone and they were going to foot the bill for it. You know, it's like, Oh, if you don't have money, I, I got you. Um, so, you know, like, I know it came out in a reading not that long ago, like, I recently posted something about perks, like, benefits, you know, like, kind of thing, that could be kind of what this is, you know, or at least what it started out to be, but someone is struggling underneath the surface with how they really feel, like, it's not as unemotional or detached as they were hoping it would be. We have a Queen of Cups here in the reverse. Somebody who didn't know something or was uneducated about somebody possibly being tempted or, you know, weak. They fall for the low-hanging fruit. <clears throat> Someone may be um, having trouble staying at peace. Like, they, they could have, like, a million thoughts running through their head possibly about something or someone that they're connected to because there's not a positive outcome here because someone was lying to someone. I mean, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here for someone, so, like, right now, um, or in the future, someone's gonna have financial security and, you know, stability, but it looks like somebody rushed in with some sort of lies, um, or this could have been the Queen of Cups that was lying, um, or it could have been someone that was lying to the Queen of Cups if this was, like, their significant other because they were easily tempted and they were hiding the truth from them because somebody was not educated about the truth here about a lie and then we have the knight of swords here someone was rushing in and there was not a positive outcome here so um you know like someone could be you know in a relationship and then um you know have a, a side piece situation going on you know the the falling in love with the trick kind of thing i don't know man well so someone might have been isolated or needed to isolate or you know been taking some time alone to think about something they've been spending time alone and they may come to a realization that maybe they were being lied to that something was not as it appeared to be and that could be this queen of cups you know it's like something may not be adding up so someone could be you know spending isolating spending time alone trying to think something through someone's trying to think something through <sighs> someone can't stop thinking about this other person though in the page of cups someone can't stop daydreaming fantasizing like oh god someone can't stop thinking about having a future with someone else though like man. These readings are getting tougher and tougher. I'm not going to lie. These are getting brutal to do sometimes. <sighs> so the person, yeah, this person who's fantasizing is trying to manifest this person who could be in poverty. So they're fantasizing about, I don't want to call him a trick. That sounds so wrong, especially like, I mean, I don't mean to be offensive because I feel, you know, but... The person, the, the side piece, I don't know. I don't know if there's really a nice way to put it. I don't know if they know that they're the side piece or something. Like, I don't know. that. You know. They could. But I don't want to, you know, I'm not judging anyone for their life choices or what they do. So I don't want to, you know. I know there's people who have legit professions doing this, like in Las Vegas and stuff, so I don't want to, you know. <clears throat> Maybe someone traveled to Las Vegas and went to, you know, uh, one of those ranches, you know, and, uh, you know, it caught some families for someone. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to go too far into that, but... I strongly get that someone was connected to someone else and they were possibly going behind the scenes, seeing someone else with some dark communication, traveling. Someone's nervous about some communication being exposed. Someone's going to be in despair here when the truth gets told shit. King of Swords. 
So either a King of Swords is going to be in despair, or a truth they're going to speak is going to have someone in despair. Because they can't stop thinking about someone. Yeah. Okay, so we have the King of Cups here. In the reverse. So they did something with the, you know, a feminine energy and Empress in the reverse. And there's a karmic situation here. So there's, there's a lover's connection here. Okay, so there's a risky commitment. Okay, so the King of Swords may be revealing some truth or they may be afraid uh, about the truth. But someone's in despair about this. It could be that they're in despair about this being discovered. Because they did something out of emotions impulsively with an empress with a feminine energy okay um you know or, or to this feminine you know they could have betrayed them and um someone's going to be in despair when this truth gets revealed regarding this risky commitment and it could be that at some point this person's going to say hey like i don't want to be with you anymore i want to be with this other person or it could be them um you know deciding to stick it out with whoever they're with but there's going to be some sort of truth that's going to be spoken or found out someone was not an official person here the higher fan in the reverse or this empress was considered an official person and that was just more tempting for this king of cups uh, because there was a secret union here. There was a partnership in the dark, okay? So, just because it's in the reverse doesn't mean, like, the Empress necessarily was in the reverse, per se. It could just mean that this just happened, you know? Like, the King of Cups and the Empress hooked up. Um, the Empress could be an official person here, like, considered a teacher, advisor, um, teacher, preacher, prophet, something like that. But anyways, there's a very, there's definitely a risky commitment here. There's definitely something going on here that not everyone would agree with. And there was a secret hookup here. And someone's in despair over this truth coming out. Or they're in despair about being afraid about this truth coming out. But I feel like they want this, though. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's someone who could possibly get hurt here, and it could be the person in the risky commitment because there was some sort of imbalance that was caused. So this hookup caused an imbalance in this situation. You know, someone did something heartbreaking, you know, when they went towards somebody, they were kind of uncompassionate, you know. Um, they may have done something that was less than admirable, and it caused a heartbreak here when they engaged in this risky behavior this risky commitment yeah this communication brought a tower moment something is like crashing down because of whatever was going on this communication someone is innocent here there was definitely a heartbreak someone has financial stabi stability so someone who's innocent in this um you know or the page of pentacles you know someone who is you know concerned about their finances they could be worried about their financial stability and so someone could have kind of played on that there was something that was being hidden regarding this heartbreaking thing but this person wants someone wants, wants to make a love offer to this person and i feel like that's what's going to cause this despair and heartbreak because somebody wants to make a love offer this ace of cups there was an injustice here with the high priestess and then the magician manifesting. Someone is manifesting an ace of cups, a love offer, and they can't stop thinking about this person, but there was a barrier in the in the way, okay? And it was probably most likely because this was a third-party situation with a high priestess, or they did this to a high priestess, okay? So, and then these literally flipped out again. So there was a tower moment that caused a permanent ending to something here. Someone's moving on to calmer waters here, but there's some heavy burden. So, you know, there's some tough times ahead. You know, it, it may be a struggle here, especially if someone's going forward with, you know, um, not that much finances, you know. I'm trying to remain unbiased and just, like, not have an opinion and read the cards. I'm trying so hard trying so hard but someone someone's gonna be in despair man someone's gonna be hurt someone someone's really gonna be hurt by this when it comes out 
There's the Ace of Wands here. There's the Three of Pentacles. There could be a talk going on, a gathering going on, a meeting. Um, you know, so there could be a gathering or a meetup um, regarding this Ace of Wands. And it's going to result in a victory or a yes, like this is going to happen. Or there's, there's a yes regarding this. Try to keep them in the same order that they came out in. So once again, someone is moving on to calmer water, so someone may be getting gifted something. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm getting could be sugar baby kind of energy, something. I, I hate to say that, but. I, it is what it is, you know, I don't want to say they are sugar baby, but someone was, you know, that was the initial thing, there was, there's a betrayal here, because someone wants to give their wand to someone else, and an ace of cups, it's like they want to give this, their love, their wand, and like their time and attention, and, and there's a betrayal, <clears throat> There's definitely a betrayal here with the Five of Swords in the reverse. But this person who's in poverty, like, uh, I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys pick sides, whatever, but this person who is, you know, suffering financially, like, that's getting, you know, treated as if they're a prostitute, whether they are or not, okay? They, they were getting treated like that. So I don't want to necessarily take the stance that this person... Um, like that was their intention, but it was the masculine's intention when they came towards this person, okay? So that was like the masculine's intention coming towards this person, but there's this person's moving on to calmer waters, like even though it appears like they're a guilty party here, as they are a third party in this situation, um, it's. <laughs> I don't know. It's like they're kind of innocent in this as well. I don't know. They could be a divine femme. Or divine masculine, you know, take it how it resonates, just flip the signs and rolls. I don't know how many women pay men, but I know what happens, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, there is a such thing as a gigolo, so. <clears throat> There's a king of cups here and a ten of pentacles. So, you know... This person could have financial security with this masculine energy. This masculine has these feelings towards this person. They can't stop thinking about them. They're going to go towards them. And they're going to have financial security and a stable family life with this person. Like, it's going to be okay. Like, they can see a future with this person. Like, a happy one. But in the process, someone else is going to get hurt. Because this was supposed to be a secret... There was a barrier here because someone rushed in with some sort of lies to cause a betrayal. And it could have been their, you know, like, um, their intended, their intentions, okay? So, you know, if this person, like I said, this person who, you know, is in the Page of Pentacles energy, like this feminine energy, who may be, you know, in, in poverty, whatever, um, this masculine intended to just throw, like, a few things their way and, like, um, you know, do that and just get what they could get out of it, you know, like, the intentions weren't pure when this masculine approached this person. Not only did this person, you know, necessarily not be honest about their intentions towards this person, if they're in a relationship with somebody else, they were lying to them too. <clears throat> and traveling towards this person and thinking about this person and fantasizing about this person. Because we had the Queen of Cups that came out in the reverse before. So, you know. Man, this one's a this is a tough one, man. There's definitely an emperor here. <clears throat> and there's not a positive outcome for somebody, okay? So someone's not going to have a positive outcome. 
there's an emperor here who wants to be loyal to someone, but someone's going to be sad. So an emperor being loyal to someone is going to cause them to be sad. So once again, um, even though this masculine may be daydreaming about this person and fantasizing about them, they may choose to stay in the relationship and it could be the person in the page of pentacles being left out in the cold and being in despair. <clears throat> But someone is sad um, about this emperor choosing to be loyal to somebody. There's not going to be a positive result in, you know, regarding this for somebody. But I really feel like they want to give this Page of Pentacles person, like, the Ace of Cups. So it could be the person that, you know, they betrayed that's going to be heartbroken. Because someone's a flying monkey. So someone could be sad that someone's, like, a flying monkey just causing chaos and doing bullshit. There's going to be an ending. Okay, Certificate of Death. This flying monkey, okay, so whatever shenanigans this person's doing, it's going to put an end to something. And it could be the relationship that they were already in. You know, somebody, um, you know, chose a different path somebody somebody took a different route okay and it ended up in not a positive outcome for someone but someone wants to be loyal to this empress that went to high priestess you know empress turned high priestess or both there's a transformation there's a change coming and something is going to work out um you know with this love offer something is going to pan out with this love offer um you know secret you know, love, divine union, possibly a divine connection, and good luck with this union. So, there are good things coming if this person chooses to go towards this person. But I still, I'm not going to lie, I still feel bad for the person that they were in a connection with. You know. If somebody's going to get hurt, whether it was a marriage or, you know, relationship or dating, I don't know. But I feel like someone was connected to somebody because someone thought that someone was, like, communicating with someone else or talking to someone else, like possibly their girlfriend, boyfriend, um, you know, significant other, spouse, whoever this was. <clears throat> and they weren't. They were communicating with somebody else. So... next spouse is involved so someone's gonna end up getting a divorce or something here someone will tell you some important information and that's in the reverse so somebody was withholding some important information because that would cause a divorce someone's going to be confused it could be your ex-spouse that's going to be confused about this or theirs you know someone's ex-spouse is going to be um not happy you need to be honest with yourself in the reverse. So somebody was not being honest about, <clears throat> it's like they may have had an inkling or like they may have had, you know, it's like somebody may not have listened to their intuition. Like they may have felt like something wasn't right or something was going on. Um, they slept with someone that you know. So <clears throat> you could have slept with someone your ex-spouse knows or were friends with, Okay. Someone needs to heal their childhood wounds. So someone could be feeling confused. There could be some trauma bonding going on here. Someone lied. Okay, so someone lied about you. Possibly their connection to you. Their intentions to you. If you're the person who's actually in the upright here. Whether you're the third party. Whether you knew it. What, you know, you don't, you know. Um, find someone to love you. I don't. Someone's getting left out in the cold here, okay. Because someone needed to heal their childhood wounds. Or someone needs to. And someone's getting left out in the cold and they're feeling very confused about this. When this truth comes out, <clears throat> this is not going to be the greatest for someone. Because I feel like your ex-spouse knows who this person is or they're connected to them. Whether it's their family member or their friend, um, their buddy. I mean, it could be their buddy. That could be why the buddy thing came out. So somebody, um, it, it could be like their best friend or something. Like this, You, whoever you are, you know that you know the person that you're hooking up with um knows at least of your ex-spouse you know maybe they weren't buddies but maybe acquaintances or something i don't know man this shit this shit keeps getting you know there's competition that someone doesn't know about there's a good witch a light worker so someone could be competing with a good witch or a light worker well, it could be this good witch or light worker who's like the third party and they, you know, like they're the Page of Pentacles person. Someone is. Somebody wasn't thinking about someone looking at the photo. 
in the reverse. Maybe there was something significant about a photograph, a photo. Um, they could have lied about where a photo came from, how they ended up with a photo of you. Mm. I just heard Aichi Wawa, so I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> um... Somebody could have gotten unexpected money in or earn inheritance, or they thought they were going to get something. So somebody, um, you know, could have been expecting some sort of money or an inheritance. Um, this was someone who was in a bad marriage. Marriage is like Jurassic Park in the reverse. So this is someone who could have been in a bad marriage. Okay, and this is somebody who was not looking at, you know, their spouse's photo if they were married and doing this. They may have been expecting to get some sort of money, you know, um, possibly in a divorce or something like that. Somebody was wasting their time. If they thought someone was going to marry them, someone feels like something is love at first sight. I'm telling you, like, they felt somebody was not expecting to fall for this person but they can't stop thinking about them like that was not the intention here someone needs to use their intuition that shit's rocky it's uh, there's all kinds of shady shit going on something was not an equal give and take life's a bitch someone was as dull as dishwater all is fair in love and war someone was a bald-faced liar okay so someone lied they rushed in with lies knight of swords about their intentions, what they were doing, where they were going, who they were seeing, what, who they were communicating with, um, about not having feelings for someone. And this just created a perfect storm. Like this is, this is going to bring a, some heartbreak to somebody. If this is somebody that they're married to, someone didn't have a clue that they were being lied to possibly, you know, they, maybe they didn't listen to their intuition uh, dark and stormy night. So somebody didn't have a clue possibly that they were headed into a dark and stormy night. They're not coming out of one. Something significant could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. Somebody thought something was all fun and games. There is going to be a positive outcome for someone here for all intents and purposes. Um, somebody was ripped off or somebody felt like they were going to get ripped off or somebody was trying to rip someone off or somebody like stole someone from somebody else. Like there could be a competition here and someone's playing with fire and someone's going to be crying. So, um, for some of you, the shitteth may hit the, the faneth within the next 24 to 48 hours. That's sideways. That's now in your future energy. So there's something really big brewing here. Like big brewing, like a big, like. I'm, I'm not going to say a tornado. I'm not going to say a hurricane. This is a fucking tsunami. That is the energy. There is a goddamn tsunami that's about to knock everyone on their ass in this situation. Like something, something really big is about to kind of come out of nowhere. That could be the communication being discovered. That could be someone speaking their feelings, something once bitten, twice shy. So someone has been hurt before and what goes around comes around. So, you know, maybe someone cheated on someone in the past and maybe they feel like this is their karma for being unfaithful to whoever they were with in the past, you know, or who they're with, you know. I'm not saying, like, it's, you know, tip for tat, like, one person cheats, you should go cheat. Someone has been hurt before, okay? And what goes around comes around. But this can also be someone, you know, who was hurt before, and they may be afraid of taking a gamble, taking a risk. And maybe what goes around comes around is good karma, good dharma. You know, it doesn't always have to be bad when it what goes around comes around. Sometimes it's good stuff, too. But there is, you know, some bad stuff that's, you know, going to be for somebody. Not everyone's going to have a happy ending in this story. That much is true. Someone's going to get hurt. Oh, oh God, okay. 
So there could be a Pisces here, a uh, blast from the past. Someone from your past could be a significant by hook or crook. So someone could be viewing a Pisces as a crook. Somebody could be trying to um, steal something from a Pisces. So a Pisces could be significant. Somebody was going to get something by hook or crook. Someone's dedicated to this. They want to put in the work. Um, you know, somebody was trying to rip someone off possibly. So someone opened up a whole can of worms. So someone from the past came and opened up you know brought a shit storm of tsunami so this put, could have been someone who was trying to hook up with someone no strings attached from someone with the past or the an old friend something like that it's different for everyone this is a collective read and aquarius could be significant and a libra someone's older um i don't want to say and wiser but someone's older here either older and wiser or older than dirt so there could be an age difference here so someone's older shit someone's gonna let the cat out of the bag about something and someone's gonna miss the boat someone's gonna miss their opportunity for something because something is going to be exposed regarding an older person or it's going to be an older person that's going to expose this somebody was wet behind the ears so somebody you know from the past could have been younger you know maybe a little green maybe a little naive about something Something is as dead as a doornail, or maybe somebody thought something was as dead as a doornail regarding this person that, like, they wouldn't be a part of their lives, and then the past came back to bite him in the ass, Aries. <clears throat> so something significant with an Aries. Could be something significant um, on Saturday with a Gemini. <clears throat> Sorry, I know I'm clearing my throat a lot, but the weather keeps changing. One day it's like hot and then it's cold. Uh, you can run, but you can't hide and take the tiger by its tail. So someone can't hide from like what they've been doing. You know, the truth is going to come out eventually. And someone's going to take control of the situation. So there may be something significant about Saturday. Someone's going to take some sort of action and gain some sort of control, um, you know, regarding a Gemini and possibly an Aries. Uh, someone is expecting a happily ever after. Someone's going to get their happily ever after here in June. Could be significant. It could be someone's birthday, the month of, you know, a significant event. Something is moving full steam ahead against all odds. Something is going to work out. Someone doesn't think, like, they're, they're so, like, they feel like something's not going to work out. They don't want to say, you know, express their feelings or whatever. Um, but against all odds, something is actually going to work out for someone in all this mess. <clears throat> okay. Person, place, or a thing. Letter O could be significant. I don't know why that's always like the first letter that comes out. Double O. Mm, there could be some oohs and ahs going on. Like, or like a ooh shit. Another O. There's three O's. Oh shit. Yeah, there's going to be an O oh, shit moment. There's going to be an O oh, shit moment. A. Oohs and ahs, yeah. Someone's jaw's going to drop regarding something. AI, there's something significant about AI technology. Something could be exposed about technology, on technology, communication with technology, something. You. F. Oh, shit. Someone's going to find something, and there's going to be a, an argument, and someone's going to be like, fuck you, no fuck you, oh shit, there's going to be a fight, there's going to be a fight, maybe just a verbal fight, but there's going to be a fight, R, a fur could be significant, someone could have bought someone a fur, um, you know, there could be something um, <clears throat> significant about, um, and then we have the Y, so someone could be a furry, or there could be something significant about, you know, the carpet matching the drapes or something like that or a furry patch of something it could be facial hair pubic hair whatever i don't want to do that something is furry someone maybe asked to shave something i don't know you or trim maybe someone wants them to trim their beard that one's for them. i'll do two more c and l a clue there's a clue to something someone's getting a clue someone doesn't have a clue 
someone's gonna have a clue to something here okay um we're gonna close this out here i hope this helps and good luck to all these people involved because there's there's about to be a whole shit storm of problems for um for about three people here i mean is someone's gonna get a happily ever after out of this um well maybe two people here but um <clears throat> yeah good luck with this okay all right hope this helps have a good day